You. What up, guys? I'm back with another goddamn rant. Well, this, today's not even much of a rant, to be honest. It's more of a. How would you say this? Observation, I guess. Yeah, observation, I'd say. Today's one is more of an observation. It's not really a rant. But yesterday. Actually, more like maybe two days ago. I noticed, I noticed something that's like kind of funny, but at the same time just like really weird. I don't know if it's just maybe, maybe that's just in my situation this happens. So I'm pretty sure I told you um, in the last video that my friend Natish obviously started working at the same uh, job as me this week. Uh, he started on Friday. So. I think on the second, it was the second day, and I, I noticed this as well, it seems, I don't know how, like, customers have this power tendency to immediately, how do you, immediately recognize when someone's new, because when I tell you, in like, the two weeks I've been working, that I've gotten like, 30, 40 people asking me about like where so-and-so is when another co-worker uh, another co-worker that's been there for two, three years so let's, uh, I've just started and these guys have been here for two, three years longer than me and they never get asked it doesn't even matter what part of the store we're in just, just for some reason they just seem to seek us out I don't know if it's just have you guys ever had that happen? They just somehow seek you out. They just know that you're new. And you'll just, just stand there just... They ask for an item and you're just like, oh. Yeah, I think I know what this is. Especially in like the first month. For for my friend to teach, it happened like the first couple days. Like on the second day, he legit got like 10 to 15 people asking him where stuff is. And he's just there dumbfounded like, uh. Like, I don't know. And then we had to ask the other co-workers and I'm just like... You could have just gone to them. Why the fuck you always come to me? And it's and it's not like I'm annoyed by the customer. It's just it's just in my head. I'm just like fuck. It could have been way easier if you just you know went to the other person, because in the end I have to ask that person anyways, and I'm just, I just feel stupid for not knowing what the product does. But like I'm new, so I'm just like you know I don't know like. Come back later. And come back in like in two, three months when I when I know where everything is. Not, not like two weeks in, where half the time I'm actually working alone, so I have to find all the shit myself. I swear, customers just have this power to just seek out people who are new. And it's also okay. This this point I get annoyed about. This, okay, so I work in the chillers, right? I'm I'm in the chillers. So, I'll obviously be by the um, freezer and like the fridges with the milk and all that. Those are the only areas I'll be in. I'll, I'll be walking around, you know, just putting the stock on, doing whatever, la la la, you know, all that shit. And all of a sudden, customer comes up to me and goes, Yo, do you know where the clothing pegs are? Do you know where the, this certain item in a different department is? And I'm just like, cuz... Can you not see me in front of the freezers? I am not part of that department. Why would laundry detergent be in the, the freezers? Like there's so many other people. They walk past so many people and that's like the thing. I'm telling you, they know that you're new and they're asking you questions. Because in like other jobs, after a while, because I worked multiple, like uh, multiple departments, I know where everything in the store was in my last job. Even though I wasn't in the department. That was after, you know, a while. Not like three weeks. I don't know the whole store layout where everything is. So I'm just there. I'm just like, cuz. Out of... Cuz grocery. On most nights that I'm there. Have like eight people. I'm just like, bro. With the eight people that are on, in grocery. That are literally doing the grocery aisles. You decide. To walk over. To the fridges, all the freezers, wherever it is, or the milk fridge, whatever it is, and ask 
someone who's working those, you know, those shelves where laundry detergent is. When there's been so many people you would have had to pass before you got to me. And it just so happens to be someone who just started. So I don't know where basically shit is. I've been able to help him a couple of times, but I'm like, could you, if you need, if you need help, how can, how did you not go and ask any of the people on the aisles? Why are you coming over to the fridges? Why is laundry, why would laundry detergent be here? Like for things, there's like other things that like, like lime juice, because people have asked for lime juice and uh, it's, it's like the type of lime juice that you have in, um, for baking. It's like a little glass bottle. I get if people come up to me and say that because I had a customer do that. Because, you know, it's lime juice. You know, it's a juice you'd think it would be with the drinks. It isn't with the drinks. It's usually like in a baking aisle. So with like the flour and sugar. Because, you know, most supermarkets class it as a baking product. So that's why it's over there. But stuff like that, I'm like, oh yeah, you know, I'd understand why you'd come to me for that. You know, that's understandable. Motherfucker, you come to the freezers and ask for laundry detergent, clothing pegs, or some sort of like fucking like snack, like chips or something like that. I've had someone come up to me and ask for chips and not like frozen chips, like fucking Doritos kind of chips. Oh my. What kind of Doritos are you eating frozen, bro? I saw. And it's annoying because I've literally seen some of them walking straight past grocery people who have the same uniform as me. And you can't say, oh, they might not be able to tell. They might not be able to tell that uh, their work is there. Where I'm not even joking. People recognize. So I was walking around the store and I was with my co-worker and she was just like, yeah, I, I got asked two times. It was like, Josh is here. And if Josh is here, and they're just like, uh, they said they didn't see you, and I'm just like, hey? They're like, yeah, they said they didn't recognize you because you're a uniform. And then at the end of the day, uh, and literally at the end of the day, it was like 10 o'clock because store was closing. It was 10 o'clock. Because the, um, uh, at 10 o'clock, we, uh, the security comes around to, you know, kick people out. Well, not kick, but tell them that they need to leave because, you know, the store's closed. You can't buy anything. So he comes up to me. I'm doing my job, I'm facing up the fridges, and he's just standing there, so like, once I'm done facing it up, I get up, continue, and he's just like, oh, I thought you were, you were just a regular civilian for a second, you work here, right? And I'm like, yeah, the fuck? So I don't really, you know, I don't really, get, no, that isn't really an excuse, bro. My own co-workers and the security couldn't even tell that I was a worker there. Well, even though I got the uniform on, and these motherfuckers be wearing got the the jacket with the count that, with the logo right on it. I'm like, cuz, what the fuck do you mean? How do you walk past all these people who are literally in the aisles with countdown jackets on, with the literal logo on them? It's way easier to see it on the jackets. And you just come straight for me in a freezer, ask for clothing, you know, clothing pegs and fucking detergent. Why would it be here? But damn. That, that's, <laughs> this did turn into more of a rant, but it wasn't supposed to. But it was just an observation that I've peeped over a couple weeks that I've, you know, been working. I hope, I, I hope you know the amount of people asking me for stuff decreases because i'm until i get you know where most stuff is i'm gonna have to keep sending you to my co-workers and it's just like why do you guys never ask them like, why you seem to always go past and i don't understand how how they've got the same uniform and they've been there for longer so in the next couple days because you know i daily upload i need to finish the batman that batman um arkham asylum first because i haven't gone in a couple weeks but i've got i've gotten so many more games because of um a lot of sales and steam i've gotten so many more games that i want to play it's, a lot of them like you know already older and 
have been played a million times, but I haven't personally played them, so... Bro, I'm gonna play that shit. I don't care. First time playing. There's so many. I can't wait. I just need to get through Batman, uh, Batman Arkham Asylum first. And I don't know if I'm gonna start uh, the next uh, Exio, you know, game, which is Brotherhood, because I already got it downloaded. This whole plethora of games in my, in my like Steam library that I want to start. Well, there is fuck tons. Holy, that is insane how many there are. But you know, <laughs> this gives me a chance slash excuse to actually play it because I can just you know record for the YouTube channel. It gives me an excuse to play that shit. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed the video and there's a little bit of the rant. And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your day. Peace.